morning, beautiful people. My name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's, and general encouragement for you to get out and do a thing. If you've watched last week's video, you will know that yesterday was not the best of days. No, I shouldn't say that. It was a good day, and then it was a bad day, and then I set up my tent in the dark. <laughs> anyway, we are not letting that affect us today. It is not the end of the world. It's not something that's not replaceable. We are fine. <laughs> So, the goal today is to see the Painted Hills and make some miles because I'm a little bit behind because of my detour yesterday. So, we're going to pack up camp. I think I'm just going to have a bar for breakfast and get skedaddling down the road. It's already 9 o'clock. Man, I just I love waking up in the trees instead of out in the sunlight because your tent doesn't become a microwave when you wake up. Alternatively, it does make it a little bit harder to get up in the morning, but I am not a morning person and you guys know that. So let's get packed up and hit the road, shall we? road was gonna be like flat and super boring and not only is it paved and curvy it's beautiful there's trees there's these awesome rock formations that I had to come back to photograph because it was just too cool so I'm so glad that I decided not to go like the normal path and uh, make my own route to come because I, I got to see this <laughs> Welcome to the Pant Hills. This is actually the most visited out of all of the John Day Fossil units. It's also considered one of the seven wonders of Oregon by the Oregon Tourism Board, which looking around, you can understand why. <laughs> I have been here once before with my partner, but this is the first time that I've been here on the motorcycle and it's just as awesome. Actually, I feel like it's more awesome if you come in the back way that I did because curving through the dirt roads like on the cliff side, that was like so awesome and definitely set up the experience for coming here way more than coming in the paved way did. That's for sure. <laughs> Flying over streets and the broken hearts 
But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Got gas in Mitchell's. I just stopped here and spray. I think I'm gonna see if I can't get a snack here and some cash, because I'm out of cash. And in Eastern Oregon, it's kind of important to have cash. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that you can't do if you can't pay in cash, so. Huh. It's a beautiful day. Ugh, so good. And we have a lot of miles ahead of us, so. <laughs> My Cena battery finally died, so it's about time to switch to the headphones. And I gotta switch batteries on my heated gear. It's been pretty dang chilly today. Totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, give me that sweet heat. Mm. <laughs> Was that weird? Have I been alone too long? Maybe. That's okay. I did talk to the gas station attendant in uh, Mitchell. <laughs> I had to think about what town that was. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the only person I've talked to today. Apart from the little clerk at the um, general store in Spray, but she didn't have much to say to me, which I don't blame her. Customer service sucks. Let's get back on the road, shall we? today for driving through Eastern Oregon on beautiful twisty roads. I passed the campground that I was gonna stay at tonight and it was a beautiful campground. There was lots of empty spots for me. Um, but when I stopped and got cash and spray, I got a 20 and a five and that campground was eight and it felt really weird to pay 20 bucks for an $8 campsite. So I kept going and my next couple of choice sites were at the top of the pass and it was like 49 degrees. <laughs> And uh, I'm already a bit chilled and I need to charge stuff. That's, that's really the reason we're in a motel room. It's cold and I need to charge stuff. All the batteries for the Osmo are dead. All but one of the batteries for the GoPro is dead. All of the batteries except for the ones that are in the big cameras right now are dead. Um, and I just, I need a place to charge and uh, the USB off of the bike just isn't 
charging stuff fast enough for me to keep up with how fast stuff's going dead. So, you got a hotel room. We're gonna charge some stuff up tonight, get a good night's rest, head out early tomorrow morning so that we can take advantage of everything the Oahi, Oahi? How do you say that? Oahi. Oahi. What was I talking about? Oh, right. Making sure that I have the time and the energy to take advantage of everything that I want to see and do, including Leslie Gulch, where I'll be meeting up with my brother tomorrow, even though he's got a huge head start on me. He's in Ontario. That is a very, very shorter distance to Leslie Gulch than from Unity, Oregon. So, <laughs> my brother always being an overachiever. Anyway, I'm going to unload the bike and uh, maybe f fulfill my promise that I made to myself yesterday after I realized that I lost the water reservoir after searching for it. And I'm gonna go see if I can find myself a steak. Yep. Yeah. I've been singing King of the Road to myself for like the last hour after my Cena died <laughs> because I didn't want to stop. <laughs> There are so many people that are not from this area don't realize it's you're looking at oh yeah between stations so. yeah I know better I've run out of gas here before <laughs> let me get my pump turned on. I hope that you guys enjoy this week's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Huge huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. If you would like early access to videos like these for as little as $1 a month, you can head on over to Patreon and get them ad-free before the rest of the world. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, that it's absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here every single week. Question for the end screen crew. I'll see you guys later.